Hey guys and welcome back. Um, I have joined a YouTube collab and doing Disney princesses and I just wanted to come on and do it for you guys because I have actually a little bit of free time. Um, my son is outside jumping on a trampoline with baby girl and my hubby is changing the tires on our cars. So um there are 11 girls doing this and they are um katie doing snow white um and she is xx it's so simple xx there's lucy doing ursula um and she is a fat beauty x there's dinah doing cinderella and she is xx x dinah xxx Laura doing Belle, she is a Miss Charmed XX and then there's me, I am doing Pocahontas um, then there's Callie and she's doing Elsa um, and I'm basically going to have to link um, all the YouTube down below because um, yeah Callie Callie's link is a lot of name, uh, numbers and, and letters. Uh, then there's Jacqueline doing Tiana and she is Channel Rose Forever. Lou doing The Evil Queen, also a lot of numbers. There's Amanda doing Ariel and she is Lip Gloss and Converse. April, April doing Jasmine, she is Somebody to Love videos. And then there's Rapun uh, Crystal doing Rapunzel and she is Kisses XOX83. I'm going to link all the uh, channels down below with who they are doing so you can go check them out because I think you should. Um, and yeah, let's just get to these. So first off, I have already... Um, I've had a shower so my hair is still wet and I've already put on my carrot oil I'm actually really liking this it has kind of an orangey glow when you first put it on so it looks a bit scary but you can't see much orange on my face now and this is actually my naked face because there's nothing on it so now you can see all my imperfections which is so cool not and then I have this eye cream on it's the botanics by boots i really love this i use this in the daytime i have another one for evening or night time and then i've just put on muas um undress your skin face primer so what i am actually thinking oh i have a hair annoying thank you very much um hang on a <laughs> drink Oh, it's actually starting to get a little bit warmer here so I'm drinking a lot of water but what I was thinking of doing because Pocahontas is a little bit darker than me but she's more my kind of princess because she's not the um, really classy one if that makes sense so what I'm going to do is actually use this um, Royal, Royal, oh my lord! Try again, Lily. Try again. This L'Oreal True Match Minerals um, foundation, like a uh, powder foundation, I think it is. Uh, oh my lord! Um, so. I'm just basically going to use this, even though it is a little bit too dark for my skin. I use this only during the summer when I've gotten a little bit sun. But I thought I would kind of cheat a little bit and try to get um, a little bit of a darker skin. So we're just going to use this because it's not that dark. Hopefully it will be okay for me to use to hide my imperfections mm, yeah it does seem okay it's been a while since I used this because yeah we didn't have much of a good summer last year so I didn't get 
um, much sun on my face. As you can see, it's really dark compared to my skin, but that's what I'm going for. I hate doing this around my mouth because I can never get it any good. Gotta get your ears. Don't want a shiny beacon like ear behind my ears. And yes, I'm doing the bottom parts first. I can already tell it doesn't cover my imperfections, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect, isn't that what they say? And this is actually my first collab, so it's kind of kind of interesting. Oh come on! Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. Get some more into there. Ooh, mess. Oh yeah, I made a whole lot of mess. Da -da -da -da. I'm actually gonna use the top of the lid. And the reason why I'm I'm only using this powder is because I don't want like a heavy heavy foundation because Pocahontas does look. Ouch, that was my eye. It does look fairly lightly made up. Made up. Oh well, she has light makeup on. She doesn't have anything heavy. She's an outdoor princess. I'm not an outdoor kind of person, but she's the one that suits me better. And I really hope you guys can't hear my hubby yelling outside and my kids making a noise. But if you can, I'm sorry. And now I didn't have much under my eyes. Ugh. This brush shattered in my mouth. I didn't put much underneath my eyes because. Uh, I'm going to have to cover up a little bit on my eyes. I have some dark circles. And there's going to be yelling again if you can hear him. Yeah, because my son just can't stop yelling. Like so. Like so, and now I'm going to try to do this powdery. Okay, I'm gonna have to change up my brush. I'm actually gonna use Laura Luke's. Um, I would say this is a contour brush because it's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit easier to get. I really like Lawrence brushes. It's such a shame that she is out of most of them. I wish I could help so we could get it back. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use this harsh one again. Whoops. And yet yeah, my mirror is not really stuck I don't know what's wrong with it it's a horrible horrible mirror like so okay so I'm actually going to cover up this horridness right there and that one and I'm going to leave the rest because it's not as prominent 
and I'm just going over with my makeup sponge and then a little more of the powder see covered it up pretty nicely I have to say I now know why I like this powder so much last time I used it because it's really nice even though it's a shade too light too dark for me not too light it's really nice still so when summer hits I can actually start using this the only thing I don't like is this brush because it's so hard and stubbly so yeah like so that's okay I'm gonna leave it like that okay and another thing that Bacantas has that I don't is she has prominent cheekbones so need my towel I'm going to have to do an attempt at contouring mm. yeah I'm not the very best at this but we're going to give it a go I'm actually using a um, blush brush that comes with the package because it's like really nice shape and then just and yes this is going to look so stupid when I first start I just hope I'm somewhat hitting the right spot and I'm basically I'm not going all the way back because she has a really square jaw so I'm going to try to replicate that and then just put a little bit up here like so now let's see if I can blend this out this bronzer isn't really easy to blend but that's okay okay I'm gonna use this brush and see if I can do a little bit better there was the hair from that big brush Like so, I'm actually going to try to use a lot of powder on top just to soften it out a little bit. So, using the same brush, just wiping it off. Okay. I'm just going to go for that. I'm not an expert, so yeah, you gotta bear with me. And I have to say, this forehead of mine is really annoying me because it doesn't want to blend properly. Like so, that's better. Lot better. Okay, now let's check my picture. So, Pocahontas has quite the no makeup makeup look so I'm, that's what just what I'm going to do I'm going to go with matte colors I'm going to go with soft colors so first off I'm going to use this undress me Two palette and I'm going to use this color It's matte and it's called Naked. Placing that all over my lid. These are MEA colours, I don't know if I say that. I have a short term memory problem. I have ADHD. 
blame it on the ADHD. Yeah, I am definitely. And from what I remember, well, she doesn't have that sad eyes, but I thought she had quite sad looking eyes, so I wouldn't have to change so much of the shape of mine. But we'll see, I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. And putting this also in the inner corner of my eye to lighten that, like so. And there we go, taking my blending brush, all oh, these are Lauren Luke brushes, just going to wipe this off a little bit. And now I'm taking the undressed palette and I'm using this, this shade, which is, well it only says what, shade 3, yeah, they don't have names on all of this. Like so, and I'm actually starting quite fairly up high on my eyes because I have droopy eyes so I need to be careful with that and just blending it in my crease I don't do the highlight under the brow until after because I want to have the option to blend out with the highlight as well and my kids are downstairs now like so and now hmm, I'm actually going to take this um, this brown it is called lavish and I'm gonna take hang on where are you I'm gonna take this brush it's just an H&M one put that on there So, and what I'm doing now is I'm looking straight ahead then I'm placing the lavish where the up part of my bottom bottom lashes but the bottom of my eye go and I'm just patting it in there and then I'm going to blend out like so and now I'm taking some more lavish and I'm just placing it in that little part right there it's not I'm not going all the way in my crease I'm basically going in and down so you can see now the look and now I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just going to blend this in a little bit down and in and this is just to basically change my droopy eye a little bit like so as you can see it kind of makes my eye go upwards instead um, so yeah taking a little bit more closing my eye placing this to close the gap because you can see now I have a light gap right here so I'm closing that gap just by placing the brush all the way down there because now I know where not to put any colours like so and then blending again careful not to blend out too much oh, I'm probably going to have to go over with my uh, concealer anyways mm -hmm. okay that's okay now I'm going to go find one of these, this is an H&M brush as well, just taking that darker brown, putting it on my bottom lashes, like so. And now finding Lauren Luke pencil brush, smoothing this out and I have here. Magic. Like so. 
and now where did it go? Going back to the Lauren Luke shadow brush and just placing some of the lightest colour and a brow. Yes, I haven't done my brows yet. It all depends on how I do my makeup if I do my brows before doing this or after because I only do it up until my brow anyway, so it's all good. Like so. I have to check if I'm pleased. Yes, I am. Going in with this. And yes, I'm using a stick because I'm all out of my other ones and I basically haven't had the cash to get any new ones. So, yeah. And this is Laura Luke's foundation brush. And it's so soft. I really like it. Like so. And my foot is falling asleep because I'm sitting on my bed. Okay, I'm gonna have this. Like so. Yes, that should be okay. Now I'm just going to do my brows and um, Pocahontas does have really dark brows but that's not going to look any nice on me so um, I can't do that and she has really thin brows something I don't have so yeah I'm going to go a little bit darker than normal my brows just because I'm doing Pocahontas And this is basically how dark it can go without it looking clownish. And she does have like a wave arch. It's not a pointed arch, so I'm gonna have to try to do that. Even though I have a pointed one myself. Well slightly because um I don't have hairs in a little bit of my brows. And here comes the uh, nut twins. Yeah, they're not related as I've said so many times before. My brows are not related. But it's okay. Okay, now let's see if can I can get this just as pretty as the other one. Oh! Hmm, I'm pleased. Oh yeah. Oh, it wasn't too bad, was it? They actually look kind of the same apart from this part. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm pleased. Thank you very much. Elvis has left the building. No, he didn't. He died. Well, if you want to believe he died. I don't. I refuse to believe that the king is dead. That's just how I roll. Okay, now what am I missing? I'm missing blush. Blush and lips. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Lip Blush. Oh yeah, my uh, eyebrow kit is MUS Pro Brow. And the bronze I used is just an H&M bronze. It's not really that good. And the lighter powder is my L'Oreal Nude my cheek BB powder. I like that one. Okay. I don't know if I've skipped anything. Yeah, I skipped this one. This is a Maybelline cover stick in fair. Now I should have covered everything now. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm a little bit all over the place. It's been a while since I did any kind of makeup on my channel, so yeah. And I'm sorry, I, I'm not really good at doing my blush. <laughs> so I'm sorry if this looks really stupid. Which I hope it doesn't. Mm. 
she has really 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 rosy cheeks so I'm going to have to try to do this without feeling stupid because I feel stupid when I add too much blush but it's okay we're trying we're trying time I do this I squint my eyes and I get these pretty white lines so yeah oh hair <gasps> I hate these ancient and brushes hair in my ear come on there we go <sighs> okay I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit up here because I would think somebody being outside would have a little bit of redness the temples with yes like so I kind of feel like a clown but hey that's just because I'm not used to this okay so that was all that done now let's do my lashes where's my lash curler oh well gonna have to use this one hope I don't pinch myself I hate this one because it's that sticks but we're gonna turn to use it today Ooh. do you hear that clicking noise if you do that all of a sudden it kind of sticks and you have to wiggle to get it out Oh, I'm so scared of that noise. have this one long lash it doesn't want to curl it just sticks straight down I really want to pick it out but I can't I don't dare to okay now I'm gonna use my Miss Manga by L'Oreal because I really like this mascara So it's really runny though. But what I like the most with this is the brush, it's so nice. And no clumps. Sorry for my mascara face. Just have to survive. Like right, so. Okay, and now let's see. And she has really red lips. Oh! So, let's see, Lily, what do you have here? I have this really dark red. I don't know if my lips will take it. I'd hope I had something else, but yeah. Mm. Moving stuff around. I think I'm basically going to have to use this MEA. This is shade 13. Just going to have to get my doctor lip first. Because my lips are horrible. I think it is because it's starting to get warmer here and I'm losing a lot more. 
Tschüss. like so and that is my makeup look done I'm going to just blow dry my hair and then I'll take you guys outside and show you guys my outfit because I decided to do an outfit even though I don't own many brown items so this is just an outfit that I felt maybe Pocahontas would wear if she was real girl yeah and uh, I hope you enjoyed the makeup so I shall be back real shortly okay so here we are showing my outfit uh, for my Pocahontas I don't own anything brown as I said I have one pair of shorts and they are kind of military brown so they didn't go um, so I have on this uh, black skirt this is from Kubus it's just a pocket skirt and it's really loose fitted and it's really nice it doesn't uh, cling anyway then I have on um, a white tank top with this loose shirt on top and this has um, the back is lower than the front which really really suits me well because I like to wear tights a lot so that's why I got this and then I have my bracelets um, these are all from glitter it is basically just a green owl um, a green bracelet <laughs> bracelet with an owl on and then floor bangles in gold and then we have my earrings because we all know Pocahontas wears um, feathers in her ears so I decided to go with my green feathers um, yeah I really like them and then of course I have my shoes these are my sandals I bought them last year and I thought they would be really um, fitted for this outfit and this club and of course then there's my hair and I just pinned up a little um, bit of hair just to get it out of my face all I've done is blow dried it and basically left it like that so um, as for my face you have already seen what I've done so I really hope you like this and if you did give me a thumbs up and go check out the other girls they are in the info bar below and I love you guys so much and bye see you soon <laughs>